Mahmoud Hussein will soon be enjoying more family moments. This was one of the rare occasions he saw his loved ones during more than four years in prison. The Al Jazeera journalist was detained in December 2016 after arriving in Cairo on a trip home from his base in Doha. The Egyptian was never formally charged, but was accused of incitement, broadcasting false news and receiving foreign funds to defame state institutions. He and Al Jazeera consistently denied the allegations. During his time inside Cairo's notorious Torah maximum security prison, he was denied his rights. He suffered a broken arm and was refused proper medical treatment. The detention also breached Egypt's penal code. He was locked up for two and a half years more than the maximum time allowed to hold someone without charge. My father is emotionally and mentally distressed because he feels that he is there in the dark cell behind the bars without committing any crime. And he's away from his children, his family, his father, his mother, and he can't do anything. Rights groups have reported an unparalleled crackdown on journalists in Egypt under former general, now president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. In 2013, Al Jazeera journalists Baha Mohammed, Mohammed Fami and Peter Gresta were imprisoned on charges of spreading false news. They were released after a year. Ibrahim Halal, the former editor-in-chief of Al Jazeera Arabic, was sentenced to death in absentia for endangering national security. Reporters Without Borders ranks Egypt at 166 out of 180 countries in its index of press freedom. While Hussein is now free, it says at least 30 journalists remain in Egyptian prisons. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.